Is this officially put a stake in the heart of the Cam Newton possible return to Carolina? I feel like yes is the easy answer, but I also feel like part of me feels like that's was never really as much on the table as they want us to think it was. But also I think, you know, if you can – say someone gets hurt, okay? Say, I don't know, uh, say Matt Ryan gets hurt in Indianapolis in the preseason or whatever, and suddenly they need a quarterback. They might trade, a, you know, a late-round pick for Sam Darnold. Uh, you know, a serviceable NFL quarterback, try to get him through the season. They're a talented team. You know, maybe he they could plug in a quarterback and make it work and win some games. Um, you know, something like that could open the door for it, I guess, for us to bring in Cam for, like, uh, as a veteran backup quarterback in a leadership role. I mean, it's possible. I don't think it's likely, but it's possible. Um, but I also don't even know that they would – cut PJ Walker in that situation. It would have to be after PJ Walker was already cut from the roster, I guess. Um, Cause you know, obviously at this point he's got to be the odd man out, but I don't know. What do you think? You know, I'm not, it's, it's never over until it's over. I think from a, a situation now, like if you're looking at it, let's say no one gets hurt. Baker plays 16 or 17 games, whatever. Um, I, I don't think, I don't think they bring him back because they, they just – they don't need to. Now, in, in a perfect world, I'd love to have Cam Newton as my backup as opposed to Sam Darnold. I know f- for financial reasons, that's why we've been holding on to Sam Darnold. And I want to bring this up real quick. Well, I'll finish the Cam Newton point real quick, and then I'll go to this. Is that, you know, could you imagine Cam Newton and Baker Mayfield in the same locker room? Like, holy shit. That would be, like, so much – so much like hypeness in one area it would <laughs> like it'd be insane um i you know i don't think it's over till it's over um i don't think cam newton's gonna retire either i know if people have said that um you know it's just weird because he's not really the type of guy that you see as a backup and it's like I would rather see him. I can't speak for him because I'm not him or I don't know him. But, you know, obviously, if he wants to play football, he wants to play football. But to me, as a fan looking out, either it's Cam Newton is going to start and is going to play or he's just not going to play at all. And that's how I would like to see it. But, you know, if he gets an opportunity to slide somewhere and play or just be a backup and do something, you know, we'll uh, we'll see. Yeah, it's just – it's tough when you're talking about Cam because it just feels like there was just never really any closure on his career. And it felt like, especially when we brought him back last year, if he was able to have a better end of the year, it would have felt like there was some closure. Because it was just it was just, it was was just just a shame the way it kind of all went off the rails with him with, um, you know, the injuries and things like that. So – I think there's a part of all of the, all of the Panthers fans that just want to see it, like him go out on a high note because we feel like he deserves it. Yeah. Because a lot of the reason he can't play now is because he laid his body on the line week after week, carrying terrible teams to to wins and playoffs and Super Bowls. Yeah, I mean, I I agree hundred percent. It's you know you look at someone like Tom Brady who granted he is the best quarterback of all time. I will say that he is also somewhat the luckiest human being of all time. You look at someone like Cam Newton. I feel like he has had some of the worst luck possible. I mm-hmm. mean, the shoulder injury and then, you know, there's the ankle or foot or whatever it was in the preseason. There, there's the ankle, there's the foot in the preseason. There's the car accident. There's, Concussions because defensive players are allowed to hit him differently than every other quarterback. There's that. There's terrible offensive line. There's terrible receivers. 
terrible receivers. He's getting cut. He gets picked up by a team. He has COVID for half the year. He comes yeah. back to another team. Their coach sucks. He's trying the to offensive learn. Offensive line is the worst yeah. I've ever seen. Yeah, learning it's to play. All yeah. these situations he comes into, you know, it's just like, man, like, you know, you just would like to see him come in healthy and just try to play some games. Right. Just, just seems, have a real shot to do something. Exactly. And it just seems the last couple of years, you know, we've never really – we haven't got that ever since he left for the first time. So, um, yeah. it's it, it's it's uh, it's unfortunate. And I think most fans, um, you know, they want to see him do well. And it just, you know, it sucks to see him kind of go out. Whenever that does happen, um, we will uh, we'll see what happens. But 